I'm Leah Kaiser, the illustrator for Morgan the Ox. My brother, Seth Odie, wrote the story, and we're raising funds for independent publication through Kickstarter.com. In this video, I will read the conclusion of the book. If you haven't watched the other video with the beginning of the story, make sure to watch it first so I don't spoil the surprise for you. When we left last time, we were about to find out the winner of the game. I'm going to start at the beginning of the game to help rebuild the suspense. Here goes. So it was set at nine the next day. The fowl and the ox would go out and play for the world's most amazing rose bouquet and a set of wood mallets used for croquet. At nine the next day, the crowd entered. Morgan and Harry sat at the center. All were waiting for what would be rendered, for neither player would ever surrender. The game started with a cockadoo serve. The ball hit the paddle, the table, and curved. Morgan went one way, stopped, then swerved, missed the ball, and became unnerved. The stands became louder and louder. The bells rang from the old church tower, but no one cared what was the hour. They were in awe of the grace and power. Match point. It was Harry's to win. He looked at Morgan with a sneering grin. Morgan forged courage from deep within, though knowing the outcome might be grim. Harry served. The paddle hit the ball. Morgan the ox gave it his all. He gave a mighty spectacular leap. Missed the ball and fell into a heap. Did Morgan get angry or throw a fit? Did he yell, you cheated, or say I quit? No. Morgan got up. A smile lit his face. He gave the cockatoo a huge embrace. Anger? Hate? No, not a trace. Morgan knew second was still a good place. Now Morgan and Harry are really good friends. They play doubles and are champions. Well, folks, that brings us to the end. We hope you'll come back and read it again. Mm -hmm.